how to install Ansible in Red Hat Enterprise Linux RHEL version 9.1. Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside RHEL 9.1 with the distribution tools. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in RHEL 9.1. The good news is that the Ansible Core package, Ansible Core, is included out of the box in the RHEL 9.1 upstream repository. So no more additional repository, Ansible Engine or EPL like previous version for basic automation. However, for additional support for the underlying Ansible automation platform and core maintained directly by Red Hat, is uh, required the Ansible Automation Platform subscription. Now demo time! Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick light demo about how to install the latest version of Ansible in RHEL 9.1. Are you ready? Let's have fun! First of all, welcome to my laboratory. As you can see, this is a virtual machine running inside my system. My system is ARM64, so no problem at all because uh, uh, with VMware I'm able to run every operating system. So this is great, also I can test uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux in an architecture that is different from uh, the Intel one. So, I already created a username, so let me enter with my password. This is the UI, so the graphical user interface. Obviously, a server might be accessible more via terminal, so using SSH, so please adapt. I'm going to use the terminal even if I really like the new background. I think that the Red Hat design team did a extraordinary work this time. Ok, so welcome to the terminal. This is uh, the normal way how to interact with a server. You're probably going to end up in a similar way also connecting via SSH. Let me zoom a little bit so this terminal will be more readable for all of us. Ok, so now look like uh, big enough. So first things is to jump to the root user, so in my case using sudo su, in your case could be running ssh and then sudo su. Let me verify the current running version of the operating system using uh, cat of slash etc read that uh, release and this is version 9.1, the latest released by Red Hat. Great. So now I would like to verify that Ansible is actually not running and the most convenient way is to run Ansible dash dash version. Obviously we got a command not found. So this is great and, and the DNF, the package manager also suggests the Ansible dash core package. Ok, but I would like more information before jumping on uh, installation of this package. So first of all let me use a DNF list ansible dash core. Just a quick refresh of the repository. As you can see these are the, uh, the base and the uh, upstream directly from uh, Red Hat. Cool, we have ansible dash core version 2.14.3 ready for Enterprise Linux 9. So this is great. You can have also more information using DNF info and ansible dash core as a package name. 
As you can see, I'm running on a Arch 64, that is ARM 64 for uh, uh, RHEL 9. Okay, cool. Now DNF install, we are downloading 10 packages, total download size 8 megabyte, and we use 34 megabyte on disk. Cool, let me save also this GPG signature key. These are fundamental a way of verifying that the package are not altered between the distribution and our system. And when everything is done, we got a complete message like a normal, uh, like a normal operating system. And it looks like that all the dependency, all the Python dependency are ready to go. So how to verify if Ansible is ready to execute our command? Well, I think the normal way is to try to run um, an Ansible command and with a dash dash version. But here we go. And the output of this command is the current version of Ansible Core 2.14.3 as expected. And also it verify the current Python running on the system 3.9 as well as the latest version of a library, for example, Jinja and LibYaml. Cool! Now Ansible is ready to start the fun automating our day. Yay! Ready to go! Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in RHEL 9.1. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you and see us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day, yay!